Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can uh, install another Windows 11 or Windows 10. It works for Windows 10 as well in a dual boot configuration next to your regular Windows. However, without partitioning your system drive, but we install the, win the, the other Windows, the Windows 11 here in a virtual hard disk, basically in a extra file and create dual boot yeah, solution. And the advantage of this so solution is that, well, you do not need to change your system as much. Um, you do not have to partition your hard drive and you can easily get rid of the second Windows if you like to. So it's a perfect solution to install another Windows system next to your regular Windows without changing the Windows system too much. And everything I describe here in this video is also available here in this blog post. So feel free to read everything up here. I will put the link in the video description. And of course, because we want to do some changes to your system, I recommend, I always recommend to do a backup in front of what we are doing. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we need uh, is a Windows installation file. And you can get this here from the Microsoft homepage. The link is in the blog post I just mentioned. Scroll down here where you get to the section here, download Windows 11 disk image. And then you only have to select the, well, the edition here. There's only one and hit the download button. Select the language you want to use. In my case, it's English and then the download should start when you click this button. Yeah, I've already done that. So download the Windows installation disk. And the, the second thing we need is Rufus here. Rufus is a small portable tool to create bootable USB drives. And of course, you need a USB drive with eight, at least eight gigabytes of storage. So here you download, for example, the portable edition here and then you continue. Okay, here are my two downloads, the Windows installation file and the Rufus file. I will start up Rufus now. And here's a version check window. Currently it's starting in German. Let's switch to English here. Here we go. And all we need to do is here now connect our USB drive and select it here from the disk. Important note here is that uh, the content of this USB drive will be deleted. So make sure there is no important data on it. Now we select our installation file here. And basically that's it, uh, leaves the rest as it is for Windows 11. For Windows 10, if you have an older computer, select MBR here, but for Windows 11, GPT and all the default settings are good settings. Now we can click start. And for Rufus, we can do some customization for the installation here. For example, we can remove the requirement for certain um, well, Windows requirements here like RAM, Securebit, Boot and TPM. We can remove that requirement here. We can remove the requirement for an online, online Microsoft account. And we can also uh, uh, select to that automatically. A user account will be created. This will save us some steps during the process. Okay, I will go with these settings here. Hit OK. And now the USB drive will be created. There will be a warning soon here that everything on the USB drive will be deleted. Deleted. Here it is. Click OK. And now the USB drive is created. OK, here we go. The USB drive is now created with our Windows 11 installation. And now I will switch over to my test system where we do the actual installation. Okay, this is my Windows system and this is your Windows system where you want to install the second Windows. In order to do that, well, we need to create a virtual hard disk. So right click here on the start menu and open disk management. This will open the disk management and you can see here that we have our disk zero here and this is our system partition with the current Windows. We now create a virtual hard disk. So go to action, create VHD file and now we select the location here for our Windows file. So let's go here, for example, directly on the C drive and let's name it Windows 11 dot VHDX. So hit save and we can select the size here. And for example, I can select here one, two, eight gigabytes. 
virtual hard disk format, we select VHDX and we also select here dynamically expanding. In this case, um, the file won't use the entire disk space. It will only use the disk space required and will grow uh, when we add more data to it. Hit OK. And basically that's it. Here's now our disk one. We don't have to repartition our C drive here. And here's now our disk one. As you can see, it's not initialized. So let's initialize the disk. So initialize disk one, GPT, hit OK. And well, that's it. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to shut down the computer and then we connect the USB drive we just created to the computer. We start up the computer and now we have to go to the boot menu of the computer and boot from the USB drive. This is different for every computer. Usually you have to hit a button during the boot. So most of the time it's F10, F11, F12, F2 or just enter. This will open the boot menu and then boot from the USB drive. And after that, the installation should start as you can see here. And well, the installation will be a regular installation. However, we need to mount the, U uh, the VHDX file first. So we, from my case, I will select a German here. There we go and hit next. And when we are here in this window here, uh, we don't click install now right away. We need to mount the VHDX file. So what we need to do is we click, we press Shift and F10, and this will open a command line here. If you have a laptop, well, then uh, it might be the case that you also have to hit the Fn key alongside with the Shift key. Press Fn, Shift and F10 on a laptop if it doesn't work. Okay. Here we are now. Now we have to check if we have access to our internal hard disk. So we enter C here and in my case, the system cannot find the drive specified. So uh, we cannot access our system drive here. So we need to mount that to first. So we enter disk part here. Okay, here we go. Then we enter list disk to list our, all our disk in our system. In our case, it's, it's just one. So we uh, list the volumes here, list volumes. And these are the volumes here on my computer. And volume one is our system drive where our original Windows is installed. So we select volume one. And now we can assign a drive letter by typing assign letter letter C hit enter and well that's it we can now terminate disk part and now we can switch over to the C drive by entering C and now we can enter dir and as we can see here here's now our Windows 11 VHDX file and we also need to mount that two. So we go again to disk part. And here we now need to select our virtual hard disk. So we enter here select we disk file. And now we enter the pass here. So just enter the path here with the name of the VHDX file we just created some minutes ago. Okay, disk part successfully selected the virtual disk file and now we have to attach the disk by typing attach we disk. Here we go. And if I, we enter list disk now again here, we should have this additional disk here, disk one. And now we just have to type exit, exit again, and click install now. This will start the setup. Okay, the setup will be straightforward. We will have to do the standard steps here. So we can enter a Windows product key here, or select I don't have a product key, then you can enter it later. I don't have a product key right now. And then the next step, we can select uh, the edition of Windows we want to install, for example, Windows 11 Pro hit next, then we will get to the uh, license terms, 
in a few seconds. Here we go. We accept them, hit next, and then we click on customized install Windows only. And here is an important step here. Don't select one of these um, disk zero partitions here. Select this one here. This is our virtual hard drive, drive one we just saw in disk part. And as you can see, it has a correct size here. So make sure you select the correct drive here. Hit next and basically that's it. Now the installation starts and Windows will be installed into the virtual hard disk. Okay, the installer will automatically restart and when the restart is done, you will get this boot menu here where we have now two Windows systems here. The first one, this is our new Windows here and the second one is our existing Windows, our original Windows. So let's start the first one. When we start the first Windows, the installation will continue and it will continue just like a regular Windows installation. In my case here, everything is done automatically because we selected that in Rufus. So it will make, will do all most of the settings, create a user account and everything else. If you do a regular installation, then you have to go through the process, um, create a username, select your regional settings and everything else. So just continue with the regular installation process here. Okay, here are now the steps for the setup. Uh, just go through them. And that's it. Here we are now in our Windows installed into the virtual hard disk here, disk one. And as you can see, disk zero is still intact and not partitioned at all. So let's try to boot the old Windows. Okay, in the boot menu, we now select uh, the second Windows here. And Let's see if this starts our existing Windows. And here we go. This is our original Windows here. We have now booted from disk zero and well, it just works. Um, well, if you want to get rid of the second system or want to change the boot menu order because the new Windows will now start as default, I recommend a software called Easy BCD. I have already created a blog post here and you can use this software here to change the naming of the boot menu entries here and you can remove entries here. You can rename the entries here and for example, you can uh, select the one you want to boot as default and you can select the timing, the timeout for the default system to boot and you can also remove here the second windows from the boot menu and all you need to do then is to delete the virtual hard disk file to get rid of the second window system and that's how you can install a second window system with dual boot without partitioning your hard disk by installing it into a virtual hard disk file as mentioned before everything i described here in this video is also available in this blog in the blog post just click the link in the video description and well that's it goodbye